Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Super Base and the Next Chess 14. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Today we are going to learn how to upload the images to the Super Base storage bucket using the Next Chess 14. So those who haven't subscribed, please do subscribe my channel, right? So let's get started. So here we have to first of all we have to create the components and the file upload.js file. So here you can see that in the components I have created file upload.js file which is this one. Okay. And in the library lib you have to create the superbase client and superbase URL, superbase key, and this is your superbase file, right? Which is helpful for interacting the superbase okay so how to get the superbase url and superbase key i let you know so go to your superbase account so here we have to go with your settings and here we have the api you have here you get the project url and the anon key okay copy paste it from and create this uh, env files okay this is done file uploads component i need to elaborate let's see the front end how it looks and the file is uploaded or not okay so here we go with this one make sure you have to create the bucket into your superbase so let's create that bucket first so here we have the storage so create a bucket with the help of this if you want to show the url to everybody so you can make the public buckets okay and name the bucket and save this additional configuration that uh, file upload size you can mention allow the which mime type you want to add you can add okay and then save this one okay this is done bucket is created okay so two files are already there okay so we have to add the policies for inserting or uploading the images so which policy is that one you have to create a new policy with full customization here we have want to go select insert update and delete name anything over here scroll down and just make a review and save this policy this we have to do okay and then the bucket is bucket will create okay so this is my bucket name which i'm going to use over here so this this is the client side right and let's first of all let's see the demo okay so it's showing me the error that is the width property i haven't added in the image so let me add the width property and remove this tie okay so let's add the width property that is 300 pixels let's see what and the height also alt tag is also uh, height is also required i suppose auto and i think here also let's see And let me remove this one inline style and let's see is it resolved or not okay browse any image i want to push it so where should be how to add the text editor okay upload file uploaded Runtime source HTTP this 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 is, is not allowed expected numeric value in the pixels, but receive the 300 Expected a numeric value in pixels, but receive this one. Okay, let's see Let's remove this one. Yeah, this is and the height should be I think we will remain it would be 300. Okay Let's go and reload this one okay so here we go with this one i think it will also show me the error for the you know url also this one upload file uploaded an invalid source right because this is from that url so we have to <coughs> add this configure your images in the next just configurations you can see that one so how to fix it so here we have to add the remote patterns okay so let's add the images with the help of the remote patterns like this or full fledged remote patterns protocol HTTP S. Yes. So here we go with our configuration file. But here you can see that the image is uploaded. Let me show you the bucket. Previous is two images. Here you can see the three images. Last one which I am uploading are in top bar. Let's delete the first of all everything. Then we will come to know which image we have uploaded. Delete. 
okay let me configure this one the image section okay so here we go with this one so where is my configuration file so this is my configuration and next config here i need the image pattern okay so https which is the host name that is looking forward that is this one superbase okay https and uh, nothing we require more let's check this one okay let's restart and let's reload this one hope so now it will work so i will upload how to set up the react white upload okay and the file uploaded url is there and how to set up a react project so url is returning also because i have made this url to be public and this is the 0.9 something uh, let's check the bucket also and 0.9 should be there okay and this is the image how to set up the react project and now this url can be viewable over here right so this is done okay let's see this is pattern you we learned and now we will show you the full fledged code over here so here you can see that we are using use client use state image superbase okay then file upload these are the states which we have defined that is file uploading and the file url by default to be null false and empty okay so this is the handle change whenever we try to upload the file so here we are going to set the file into the state with the event.target.files zero index okay when we click on the button then handle file handle upload will trigger okay so here we will see that we are going to file extension file name file path okay and this we are sending into the superbase storage with my bucket name dot upload method file path and the file we have to send okay if error it will throw the error now we are going to get the public url which we require to show the image okay so here you can see that we have to use superbase dot storage dot from this is a bucket name get public URL file path we have to send then console I have the get the public URL and set that into the file URL and then message file uploaded successfully if something goes wrong it will show me the error that error uploading the file and finally set uploading to be the false okay so this is the rendering part so here we have the input field with the browse button when I click on the handle upload button so all the function of previously we have discussed that will trigger and when the file is uploaded we fetch the url that is public url and after this we are showing into this div with the image tag okay so this is that one and we are going to ex export this file into our main application that is page.js okay components and then file upload right done so this is how we are able to do the file upload using the Next.js 14 and the Superbase. Okay, the npm package we have to install that is super this one. I haven't added. I think top of it is there. Install Superbase Superbase hyphen js. So make sure you have to install this package. And without any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Have a nice day.